Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Matt. What's going on? Right now we are in the horde mode thingamabob. Yeah. And you got, you know, you got all your options here. Which ones you want to choose? You got your casual. You can choose what wave you want to start on. Yeah, we're going to start on one. And then you can either choose what map or you can, the host can choose. And then you can enable mutators. I'm not quite sure what this is yet, but we're going to enable it. I'm, yeah. Oh god. Oh, okay. I get, I get what these are now. So you got all these. I'll just quickly go through them all so you guys can see them. Yeah. Let's actually let's disable them, I guess. Just to make this a bit less complex. And we're going to start the match now. Okay, so we're going to fast forward now. All right, so here we are. Let's get started. We're gonna choose. Uh, um, let's choose overpass. I'm a bit more familiar with this map. And all right, we can choose. Um, which one should I choose, guys? Let's choose the. I like the sawed off, but I, I'm gonna have to go with the normal shoddy. And then I'll have to go with the hammer burst just because I like. The aim down sight just makes it so much better now. And there's a fly fucking around my screen. Get away. Okay, so let's choose the coal train, baby. Yeah, oh. Misha, I'm just going to quickly go through these. You can just see them fast. Classics. And that's all. And we're choosing coal train. Oh, God. Start. Okay. Let's get started. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's gonna take a bit of time to load, of course, so we're gonna fast forward now. <laughs> Alright, so welcome back, guys. Yes, here we are. And this is basically how it starts. They give you 1,000 bucks right off the bat. And these are your little uh, command posts. I was going to say command center. But that would be incorrect. And you basically choose where you want to, like, have, uh, what you call it, like, hold your final stand from these guys at the beginning. You have one place. And you can basically expand off. I'll show you guys fast. So you buy this command center because it's the only one that's, well, actually, I appreciate sure you buy one free all the time. And then you buy these, it costs 500 each, of course. The first one always costs 500 each when you expand, they cost a bit more, which hopefully we'll get to see that later on. And now we just have time to wait. And that's awesome. That's why this gun is so much better than the others. Unless you're good at aiming like this, it's not that great, but having this aim down sight makes it so much better for just killing people. Are killing things. Okay, let's do this. See, it just makes it so much easier. Unfortunately, there are a few things that are still kind of hard to kill. Oh god! Oh god! Okay, we're fine. There's more of them. Oh god! Oh no, they've almost destroyed that. That is not good. What are we gonna do, Matt? I don't know, Matt. What are we gonna do? Well, you'll get to see, Matt. You'll get to see. Okay, we got three left now. As you can see, uh, not too many things have changed, really. It's definitely been improved, without a doubt. But it ain't no zombies, of course. Alright, we got one left, and I'm pretty sure he's over here. There he is. Alright, there we go. Racked up five kills, yeah. Now we got our Gears of War money. And we got some time to waste, because I can't really do much now. 
yeah, you get these you, if you want ammo. Really, you don't really need those. They're not really important until you get to the really high levels where you need ammo to kill more things. And here we go. When these things go down, when they get low, all you gotta do is repair them. And then you can also upgrade them, which obviously you need quite a bit of money to upgrade. So I won't be able to do that yet. And you can, here's the scorcher, or flamethrower. Of course, you really don't have enough money to really upgrade for a bit, though. So that kind of sucks, but we can get through it alive. Ah, here we go again. I, I haven't even tried playing this on uh, hard difficulty yet. I can't even imagine playing this on hard difficulty. There's probably already a few people, but I will not be one of those few people. I haven't gotten enough practice in on the new game yet. Oh god. Got you. Let's do this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Double curb star. Oh god, frick. No. Eh. We're almost there, guys. Oh god. Where is he? Yeah, yeah. Head popping action coming on up in here. Okay, last zombie, where are you? Oh, we should set up this boom shield. Oh god. Does that look like I have a golden shoddy? Pretty sure it does. I probably fuck it. Ah. There we go. Oh! Oh! Oh, I was hoping to get the, uh, I think I have to take out a different gun to do the other one. There's a, uh, another, oh frick, I'm running out of ammo. It's been, I've been trying to reload this whole time and then I just finally realized it. It's also really, really late, but I'm trying to get this video out. My eyes are like, go to sleep, but my brain's like, you gotta get out the video, man. There we go. Only one left. Jeez, uh, where are you? Oh, I think I'll take that. I hear you. There we go. That took a bit of time. Are you guys basically have the general idea about how about how this works? So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna show you. Uh, time to fortify I I can't I get that yet. That costs two thousand, but. I'll just show you guys how basically upgrading these works. Just go like that, and then they upgrade. Then you can actually add on a turret to it in certain areas. I'm not sure if you can do it in all areas, but it's expensive. But I guess that's all you guys really need to see about this. That's really the main things to this. There's also... I'm not, I don't remember if there are bosses in Gears of War 2. It's been a bit too long for me to remember. But there are bosses now, and the bosses are actually pretty cool, and they make uh, this a lot more enjoyable. So yeah, I will see you guys, oh god, later. I will see you guys later. Peace.